life been life life really been life and man and I don't know like sad shit no nothing like that I'm just saying life been life and it been doing its thing but I just wanted to say like for one appreciate y'all for tuning in to the video the sun is right on me so excuse that if it's too much too much light but I got some and what I think everybody wants or needs or dreams to have is people in their corner I feel like I don't have a ton of friends like my family is like number one but I don't have a ton of friends but the friends I do have and I literally can count on one hand the friends I do have are my day ones for one like my top loyal friends are not new people like day ones I got some solid day ones man and it was one of my daughter's birthday yesterday or the day before and I ain't even realize it because I just been, you know, life been lifing. And I just came across something like Facebook. Be honest, we wouldn't even know these people's birthdays if it wasn't for Facebook. And I saw it was my dog's birthday and I'm like, God damn, bro. So I hit I hit, I hit my friend up. I told her happy birthday. And, you know, my fault. I forgot. Or I ain't see it or whatever. And like she always being, it's cool. Whatever, whatever. Appreciate it, sis. You know, all that. I'm like, bro, I just be out of the loop. Not out of the loop, but just, like, out of it, like, in general, like, nowadays. And this ain't got nothing to do with, like, not playing basketball no more or not being in Florida. It's just, like, everybody go through stuff in their life. And, you know, you just be feeling a certain type of way sometimes. So this is, like, my time. Like, shit just feel weird. Shit just off for me right now, which is fine. But I'm going to get past it. I got support for my family, my wife for sure, every single day, every minute of the day. And she was like, you know, you know, you're good. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just be out of it. She she immediately was like, out of what? Like, what's wrong? Like, I'm like, me being me, ain't nothing, I'm good. I mean, cause I am, but, and then it was just a, you know, when you need me, hit me, let me help whatever you need mentally emotionally what like whatever like i just felt that shit just like i don't know it just made me happy because sometimes you be feeling like you ain't really got nobody in your corner when you're going through stuff or whatever but you always be that one to have everybody else back but when it be your turn and you feel like ain't nobody there or at least not the ones there that you expect to be there but my dog she got me she always got me no matter what it is no matter what time it is, like, I just want to, I just really appreciate stuff like that, because not everybody has that, like, like I said, I'm good, I'm just saying, life and life, and you go through some tough times in life, and not even financially, I'm not even speaking about financially, I like, emotionally, mentally, like, what I want to do, I'm, where I want to be, like, my feelings, how I'm feeling, whatever, whatever, like, just, if you got them day one solid ones, and like you ain't, ain't never been no flaw shit, no none of that going on. Like make sure you keep them people around. And my dog don't even live in the same city I live in. We live in the same state. That's crazy cause we both from Florida, but we live in the same state. And like I call my dog whenever I need to. She can call me whenever she need to, but I don't know. I just felt like sharing that like, I don't know. That's just how I want to start it off, bro. But shout out to my dog. And her, guess what her name is? Jay as well. So yeah, we came up from, um, like, we've been dogs since elementary school. Like, our moms were sisters, stayed night at each other's house, played ball together, grew up, played against each other high school, like, everything. And then that, out of the 50 million people I done played with, like, that's just that one that I still connect with that's going to be my dog forever. So, I just want to say shout out to you. I appreciate everything you do, you say, you look out for me. I look out for you. I love you, bruh. Yeah, that's it. But in other news, man... So I had to go to work today, bro. I was supposed to be off today. I went to work today. It's supposed to be overtime, but come to find out we off for Thanksgiving, so it really ain't overtime. Them folks be out there flagging, but it's cool though. I hear folks in the house. Let's go see what everybody doing. What's going on? Wait, what? Uh, 
there, this was for like a food drive. They had a lot left over, so they literally told me I could leave with the bag. My so. boy done came home with food for yeah, us. Leave. Thank you, thank you, man. You good? Nice. Yeah. Granny back in town. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, Granny. Only shortly, but uh, I'll be back again. <laughs> the revolving door. That's fire. Wow. Ooh, we got All some good onions. Yeah. I need those collard greens. Oh, yeah. Those are collard. They look like collard. Okay. This is Cilantro. Oh, wow. They gave him a feast. Look I at God. So you say that. pecans, right? <laughs> How you say it? I say it both ways. How you say it, Gabe? <laughs> pecans. How you say it, Wade? Pecans. I say pecans. <laughs> <laughs> we all got our little own ways. All right, y'all. I got to slide. I got to slide to the store right quick, but. Damn, but that sun hitting me, ain't it? So y'all gotta slide to the store right quick, get a couple things. But the crazy thing is, everything I need from the store is at the gas station, my boy. All right, so let me tell you, I got a question to ask y'all. What's y'all favorite, like, one-stop shop? Like, is it Walmart? Is it goddamn a little small store in your city? Or what, like, what's y'all y'all favorite small one-stop shop? Because for me, it gotta be the gas station. And Shell been hitting with everything whenever I need it, but 7-Eleven for sure. But for me, it's going to be Walmart. I remember when the PS5 dropped, so I had the full, right? The PS5 dropped. I couldn't find it. My wife tried to get it for me. She couldn't find it. And we, I think that's when we got on the road on the schoolie and started traveling. And, you know, we can't drive all the way through, so we stopping at little spots, you know, in, in different cities. So we stopped at this Walmart in this country ass town, bro. We went in Walmart. Why they had the PS5 in that? They had like three in that bin. You get it out here in these regular big cities, boy. If you ain't there when they when they put it out there, you ain't getting it, bro. That's why I found my PS5. Got the games to it and everything. I was like, thank you, Lord. I love playing the game. I be playing 2K. I be playing Call of Duty. I be playing GTA. And then I got the Nintendo Switch, so I got some little games on there. But if you don't know, 2K, damn, I don't even know what 2K it is. It's one of them before 2K20 for sure. So it's like, is, if, is there a 2K18 or something like that? 2K18, 17? It's two of them that I'm in because I hooped. WNBA, don't forget it. I'm, I'm on the game, bro. But I got to, like, update and do some other shit to my PS4 so I can be able to play that game again. But if you got the PS4, you got the old 2K, go to the WNBA mode. I'm on that bit. All right, y'all. I got everything I needed. I got everything I needed. But. Hold on. These people don't know how to drive. Scoot over, sir. Bro. I got to go to work tomorrow. I don't know if I told y'all, bro, but I have to work at, like, it's it's either starting at 3, between 3, or 4. Five days out of the week, I go to work early as hell. So, it's, like, 4.24 right now. I have I got, like, two more hours before I go to sleep. Never mind this stuff right here. It's about to get moved out of here. But I got like two more hours. Like, bro, really be going to sleep at like six or seven every day, like an old ass nigga, bro. But it's cool because I get off at like, I get off between eight and nine. Then I got the whole day to chill, come home, always get a nap in for sure. But, yo, yeah, man, this the new life, and I ain't tripping either. It's just different because I'm adjusting. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shout out to everybody that got a job, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with trying. Ain't nothing wrong with... If you working, ain't nothing wrong with what you doing, no matter what it is. So don't let nobody make you feel bad about it either. Not saying that somebody made me feel bad about it, but hell no. I don't even get down like that. Yeah, man, it's cool, man. I'm just living my life, you know, just adjusting and lit, taking it day by day. That's just what it is. But I know it's a lot, a lot more coming for me just because I'm a chosen one. Just because I'm a chosen one, I already know. It's just a part of the life that, you know, shit happens. But I'm excited about what's to come for me. I ain't gonna lie. For me, my wife, my little family, it's gonna be lit. Alright, guys. 
see, I think we got our scene here. It's beautiful. Look behind me. There's a vibe out here, man. About to now, enjoy this is our the lunch. type of vibe my wife knows I love. Thank you. Yeah, man, I'm hungry though. Let's try this. We've had it before. Didn't we get this salad the last time? Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Okay. This $20 salad. Yeah. 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 We got the mashed potatoes. I need pepper. Yeah. And then we got salmon. She still got some salad left. Let's get let's get right to it. All right, I'm halfway through my meal, but I got my hot sauce, bro, and even my hot sauce looks bougie. And it's just it's Cholula, but it looks bougie. They say we ain't bringing bottles out here. 